Our next winner winner coming to the stage is the Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series, Abbott Elementary's Cheryl Lee Ralph. Thank you. We're going to start with questions. Thank you. Hi. Hello, lady in red. Hi. Thank you very we'll start much. With the room, so feel free to give the mic to anyone raising their hand. Oh, hi. This is Ashley Lee from the LA Times over here. Hi, hello. Ashley from the <laughs> LA Times. Congratulations thank on you. your win, and thank, thank you, you for blessing us with that bit of Diane Reeves' song, "Endangered Species." Yes. What does that song mean to you, and why did you choose to sing it in this moment? You know what? I've been singing that song for years because I think of myself as an artist, as a woman, especially as a woman of color. I'm an endangered species, but I don't sing any victim song. I'm a woman. I'm an artist, and I know where my voice belongs. And there's so many young actors, artists, even kids that think they know what they're going to do in life, find your voice and put it where it belongs. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Amanda USA Today. Congratulations. Thank you. That was such a moment. The whole room standing back here, which is rare. People are clapping back here while you're giving your speech. You were clearly very emotional. Talk to me about those emotions. What's going through your head? It took you a while to even get up from your table. I, you know what, it's, I'm the little five-year-old girl that watched TV on Sunday night when Tinkerbell came up and went around the steeple, putting stars around everywhere, and I remember saying, I'm going to Hollywood, I'm going to be an actress, and I'm going to drive a Mustang, I'm going there, and the fact that I am here, recognized after all this time as being one of the best of the best in my industry with a group of women, they are all the best. And to top it off, this particular year, tons of great TV. And for my little freshman show to break through, to be seen the way it is, oh my God, I've got the golden ticket. Yes, I do. Where's my chocolate? I'm ready. All right, Cheryl, my question is, and long time no see, by the way, I'm Danielle Broadway from Reuters. Hi, Danielle. Yes, all I can say is congratulations. You said after all this time, so does it feel like this is an honor that should have been there years ago, or do you feel like this is the right place, the right time? Listen. If this honor for me was supposed to have taken place at any other time, it would have happened, but it didn't happen. And it happened right here, right now, in Abbott Elementary, at a time when the whole world, the country, needed a show where they could look at, love it, laugh it, and plan their TV viewing around Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock on ABC. Abbott Elementary, yes, it's right now, right now. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Our next question comes from Koku from Black Film. Koku from Black Film, where are you, Koku? Hi, my name is Koku with BlackFilm.com. Congratulations, Ms. Cheryl Lee Ralph. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I see you virtually, yeah. Yeah. And, and that was so incredibly moving to hear you sing. And I know, you know, with Abbott Elementary being this runaway hit, you've been so honest about not initially, but initially realizing that the role would have such an immediate cultural impact, you know. And now you got this Emmy <laughs> that you deserve and you're supposed to have right now. I'm wondering, what made you take a choice on Quinta Brunson? Because she was mm. a freshman, whereas this is a freshman um, television series. Talk about that. First of all, I met Quinta. Actually, I did meet her at CBS, but we actually worked together doing Black Lady Sketch Show. And she just looked at me like she was studying me. And Robin said to me, you know when you did that, Robin Thede, 
who produces Black Lady Sketch Show, she said, you know, when you did that episode with Quinta, she said to me that she had to work with you in the future. And then she wrote this show and she said, Miss Ralph, I know you're at a point in your career where people offer you roles, but if you would just meet everybody that's connected to this project, it would be good for all of us. I met with her and that was it. Although I did want to play Ava Coleman, the principal. And she said, no, absolutely not. We need a queen for this role and that is you. Take it or leave it. And I was like, all right, little miss. All right, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> Love it so much. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. OK, I did not thank my mother and father in heaven, but they told me that I would be here. There's a great big old watch party taking place in Kingston, Jamaica right now, and the whole island is watching because in October, I go back and my name will change because I will become the honorable Cheryl Lee Ralph Order of Jamaica. It's like getting the Medal of Honor and an Emmy, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if that is it, is that is it? We have one final question. One final question, yes. From Simon, this is virtual as well, from Tomorrow Will Be Televised. Oh, Tomorrow Will yeah. Be Televised. Absolutely, Cheryl. For those who don't know, it's the show about TV's current and future on Blog Talk Radio, Speaker, Tuna Radio, Spotify, Iron Radio, Podcast, and so on. Uh, Cheryl, congratulations first. And second, we had two of the executive producers of that moment on our show in December, and we talked about the fact that a lot of the cast, Kinta, you, other people included, were inspired to do the show because either you were involved in teaching or you knew teachers and were inspired by teachers, especially yes. teachers in the Philadelphia area where the uh, series is based. Yes. Uh, how did that conglomeration of teachers, especially also the fact that the show was done in semi-documentary style, yeah. how did that impact your character? How did it impact the cast, Kinta, everybody involved in making the show? You know, for me personally, I have to say that my husband is Senator Vincent Hughes from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and his lifelong passion being in office is getting the light focused on education. So for me to be in this show with my husband doing what he does, I can honestly tell you he's the chair of appropriations, and as a result, maybe, of this show, a billion more dollars have been added to education in the state of Pennsylvania, and it has not happened in 30 years. So if what we're doing here has that kind of impact for generations to come, you know I am happy to be playing Barbara Howard and representing the city of Philadelphia and other city just like it, where we need more money, more attention, more focus on the education of all of our children. And finally, teachers in our show are not the butt of the joke. They are the heart and soul of the whole show. And I love it, love it, love it. Yeah. And that was our final question for Cheryl Lee Ralph. Thank you, thank you all. Have a wonderful night. Thank you.